All right. If you don't know already, because I'm like pretty much the last person reporting this, I haven't been home and I haven't had time to report this. Zab Judah had a fight Friday night. You know, um, many of you have seen it. I, I couldn't watch the whole thing because I watched it after I knew the outcome of the fight. Okay. Uh, Zab fought Cletus Selden the other night. This was his first fight in a long time. Okay. Um, he hasn't been active. He's 41 years old. Uh, I knew this fight was coming, but I wasn't happy about it. Um, he lost the fight. He was stopped late in a fight. Same way, similar to how he was stopped in fights earlier in his career. Okay. Uh, Selden applied a lot of pressure in the fight. Uh, he's a younger guy. He's a stronger guy. And, you know, Zab lost the fight. It is what it is. Uh, Zab, at the end of the fight, he was arguing, basically thinking that the fight was stopped prematurely. And right after that, he walked out of the ring. All right. Um, he eventually went to the hospital. And, you know, he was suffering from a brain bleed. Okay, he's, he was not in a coma, but he was at one point in critical condition. All right. Um, I heard the news. I didn't have time to make a video about it. I was going to do one in my car outside of work. But, you know, um, I heard great news. I heard that he was recovering. I heard that he was talking. I heard that he was in a coma and he's no longer critical. So that's great news. That's great news. Zab. Zab, uh, if you are an old school subscriber to the channel, uh, when I used to do videos about who my top 10 favorite fighters of all time and all of that stuff, Zab, as far as fighters that I grew up watching, Zab has always been in my top 10 because of he represented New York. You know, most of the fighters are from Brooklyn. I'm not from Brooklyn, but. Zab represented New York. Whenever he fought, win or lose, it was always a big deal in New York. Okay, he was a star out here. He's still a star out here. You know, me and my dad actually just seen him recently at the Wilder fight. Okay, we saw him. He was there with his homies. Um, you know, even at that point, I knew he was. He had a fight coming up. I didn't like it, but you know, you don't think. I didn't like, I, you know, I, I assume, to be honest, and I'm a fan, so it's not like I need to bash him or anything, or I'm not trying to bash him. But when I hear that he's making a comeback fight, I'm thinking to myself, it's not a, you know, I knew who he, who he was fighting, and I'm like, yo, you shouldn't be fighting guys like this at this point. I know you want to make a comeback, but your time has it's came and went. You know, I knew when you lost to Paulie, in Brooklyn, the way that you did, like Paulie just totally schooled you. Not trying to take anything away from Paulie. I was at that fight. You know, I like Paulie too. But Paulie Malinaji shouldn't be beating you up like that. At one point, at your absolute prime, Paulie was never you at your prime. And that's I'm not trying to take anything away from Paulie. I love Paulie too. But Zab Judah in his prime was much, be much better than Paulie Malinaji. He just was. I mean, we're talking about a fighter that was actually schooling Floyd at one point in that fight. He actually dropped Floyd. He's the only guy that really dropped Floyd. Didn't get, didn't, didn't get the knockdown and everything, but Zab Judah has always been one of my top 10 favorite fighters because he represented New York. He was a star here. Whenever he fought, it was a big deal. Win or lose, it was always promoted heavy. Whether you listen to Power 105, Hot 97, if you're from New York, you understand how big Zab was here in New York. It, it didn't matter if he lost. I know guys are like, yo, he lost to everybody. He lost to Khan. He lost to Kodo. He lost to this person, that person. I, I really don't care. Zab was always a big deal in New York. So much love. So much respect. There's not many fighters that got as much love as Zab, Okay. Only second, when it came to New York fighters, only second to Mike Tyson, okay? As far as Brooklyn fighters, nobody else got as much love as Zab did when it comes to New York fighters, outside of Mike Tyson, obviously, 
all right um so he's very important and when i heard the news i was just like damn this is this is the shit this is the news that i hate about boxing this is the this is the part that i hate you know because we make complaints and we 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 talk about how fights are stopped early. I mean, look at Zab. He was complaining at the end of the fight. Like he always does. It, it got stopped and he's complaining. And that's the history of Zab Judah. But he walked out of the ring. No one's thinking nothing of it. Anything of it. No one's thinking anything. But then we find out the next day that he was... He went to the hospital and... You know, he was critical condition. And damn, like... I'm actually happy that we got the news quick that he's actually recovering. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's great news. Um, you know, so fortunately, these fighters, they're just not treated like the way that the uh, mainstream sports fighters or, or athletes are. They're not treated like the basketball players, the football players. You know, you're pretty much on your own, man. You, you're, you're on your own when it comes to this sport. You know, no one's really investing into you, okay? Um, and Zab is one of the, I, I, I only would have to assume that a fighter that was making millions and it was getting big paydays for fights, he probably really need the cash. I mean, for, for him to come back like this, it's not like he went out in a great way. You know, he didn't go out like a Floyd or, or Andre Ward or, or even like a Tim Bradley. He, he went out losing all right losing to guys that he would have destroyed in his prom he went out like that and he's been losing for a long time and you know for you to come back it you know i don't want i don't want to talk you know i don't want to talk about his personal business but i mean i, I would have to assume the kind of money he was making back then i'm sure he was thinking he you know, a lot of the boxes are so delusional, man. And I'm not trying to bash Zab at all. Just listen to what I'm saying. A lot of fighters just don't know when to let it go. You know, and, and guys that were as good as he was, he's probably thinking that he has another shot to to make some sort of comeback or whatever. You know, he's probably looking at the game. He's probably looking at the opposition that's out there. And he's thinking like, damn, you know, maybe I can get one more payday. And... That's what happens when you stick around too young, you know, too long. Some of this stuff happens to younger fighters too, but look at what just happened to Adonis Stevenson, you know? I mean, he was winning fights, but you know, he was getting older, man, and he kept sticking around. And look at the way B-Hop, you know, luckily uh, B-Hop didn't get seriously injured, but look at the way he, his career ended, getting knocked out of the ring and, just falling out the, the ring the way he did. And b would have destroyed that dude. He would have destroyed Joe Smith if he was even halfway close to his prime. You know? This is the part about the sport that's so dangerous. Football is dangerous. You know, look at the changes they made with the football with football and 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 I'm talking about the NFL and the safety of the players there. Boxing is even more dangerous. You're literally getting punched in the head over and over and over and over again. And um, damn, man, I'm I'm just happy that he's recovering. You know, I hope he's doing well. Um, you know, I'm thinking about him. I've been thinking about him all day. You know, I hope his family is staying strong. Uh. <laughs> I'm in this with this, man. I, I probably should tell it, but just to, to get some of the way off. It's not, it's a, this is a little short story about Zab that I had. I used to date this girl, and uh, we had broken up. You know, this is probably a couple years. We were already broken up, whatever. But 40-40 um, Club in New York, a Jay-Z's club. This is when the 40-40 was the old 40-40. Okay. Oh, this story must have been around, I'm thinking maybe 07, 08. This is before they closed. This is before they closed it down and reconstructed that that club. But I went to the 4040 Club with one of my boys one time. And I uh, was making up with a friend that was having a little get-together there. 
And in the 4040 Club on the second floor, they have like private rooms, which um, then they had like a pool table, had arcade machines, they had a TVs. These are all private rooms. And in this room, Zab was there with his boys, right? So Zab was there and I ran into this girl that I used to date, you know? We used to date serious, you know, we were serious um, dating, not too long, but we were seriously dating at one point, a few couple years, few years prior. Um, anyway, we were still cool and uh, we were in this private room. She was there with her friend. I was there with my boy and my friend that I knew that was friends with Zab. So we're all in this room and this girl, my ex, let's just say my ex, she was date, she was there went doing her own thing. And I remember at one point, it was either Zab or maybe some of the people he was with. I don't want to put Zab's business out there. It might have been some of the people he was with. But at one point, they was making it rain. They was throwing money in the air and it was, you know, it was a bunch of singles and whatever. Like the rooms weren't really, they really weren't that big, right? They're still not, right? Because it's, it's back up and the rooms is pretty much, the club is still the same size. It's, it's, it's more refreshed looking. And... I'll never forget, man. <laughs> my ex, uh, I saw her picking money up off the floor, and I looked at her like, "Yo, what the hell?" <laughs> I looked at her. I lost so much respect for her. I mean, I was like, "See, this is why I left your ass." I'm thinking to myself, like, "This is why I ain't with your ass right now." <laughs> you know, this is a girl that had a good career and stuff like that. You know. Um, She's never going to see this video because she doesn't even know I have a channel. I haven't talked to her in many, many years now. But, yo, it was just, this is always a story I always remember uh, because Zab was there. And I was like, man, who are you, a stripper? Like, <laughs> what are you doing picking money off the floor? What is wrong with you? You know, but I always remember that story when I think of Zab Judah, man, because he represented New York. That's just how guys with money and stuff they just he it was real flashy and you know i love zab man and um i always think about that story man i was like man this is why i'm not with your ass right now <laughs> funny story man but yeah that's it man um again i i wish zab a speedy recovery uh one of my favorite fighters all the time man top 10 one of my favorite and a few guys are are in my top 10 is is straight there because they represented New York. You know, it is what it is, man. Uh, and that's all I got to say, man. Uh, so uh, drop comments, you know. Uh, I would like to hear from you guys. Hear your thoughts on Zab. Um, your thoughts on Zab, you know, any stories or any moments of Zab. My personally favorite moment of Zab is when he fought Floyd. Because even though Floyd is like, like a top five favorite of all time i rooted for zab in that fight you know i love floyd man i love floyd but there was a couple fights in there that i rooted against floyd i rooted against floyd when he fought shane mosley because uh, shane mosley is like my third favorite fighter of all time you got tyson you got roy Jones, and shane mosley i was crazy about shane mosley man but zab when he fought floyd mayweather i didn't care i wanted zab to win you know i love zab man and you know, that was my favorite fight of Zab because he was the only f guy that I felt was really outpointing Floyd and countering him. And I never seen Floyd, you know, Floyd had his struggles in his fights, but uh, Zab was literally, you know, the first three, four rounds and he knocked them down, didn't, credit, didn't get credit for it. But uh, yeah, man, that was my favorite. That's my favorite Zab moment. I, I have to say that that is, that is my definitely my favorite Zab moment. But Zab reminded me, it's like New York, man. Zab reminded me of the Knicks. He reminded me of the Giants. It's like you hate him. You hate him. You get mad at him for losing fights that, you know, i never forget when he lost to Baldem Baldemir, man. I was so pissed off, man. I was like, damn, he's supposed to beat this dude, man. But he's like, you, you, you ride with him even with the losses because that's Zab. You know, he represent us, you know. Uh, I'm I'm talking about a whole bunch of stuff, man. But I don't know. I just uh, I felt like this was a good opportunity to express, you know, my feelings on Zab, man. Uh, 
he'll be all right. He'll be all right. He's a strong dude, man. He's strong, and uh, this guy got a strong heart, and uh, he'll be all right. He'll do okay. He'll be all right. Just hope he doesn't box some more. That's it. You know, find something else to do. You know, I know he was doing a nursing thing. Find something else to do, brother. There's plenty, plenty of lanes out there that you, this boxing thing, it's too dangerous. Too dangerous, you know. And you're a defensive fighter, you're a slick fighter, you're a counter puncher. When you get to a point where you get hit by everything that a fighter is throwing, guy that's not even completely way off your level, it's time to give it up. It's time to give it up. You know, it's your health. You know, it's your, you know, whatever reason you wanted to jump back in the ring that night, whether it's the money or whether it's maybe you just feel like you could still compete and you have nothing else. This boxing is all you know. Listen, this is a this is a sport that you can get hurt in. You know, just like I said with Roy Jones, where I used to do videos about him. You gotta find something else to do. You know, you got family, you got fans, you got people that love you. You got to be responsible, and you gotta think about everybody else on the outside as well. You know, you gotta care about your health. All right, way too long video. All right, but. I love this dude, man. I love him. All right. Um, so I'm going to end it at that. If you haven't already, subscribe. And um, see you guys on the next one. Peace.